welcome to another video and today we have of course what if future go 10 was born part i'm guessing five <laughs> anyways or four but and before we start don't forget to like comment and subscribe and most importantly enjoy now let's get started shall we all right all right first appearance of beerus and one of my what ifs <laughs> Like in canon, Beerus still wakes up with a premonition of the Super Saiyan God, and, um, eventually, like, in canon, him and Whis head to, um, King Kai's plan, only difference, real difference actually being is that King Kai has really all the Z fighters there. Well, everyone who dead in future Gohan. I would show pictures, but I couldn't find one of, one I wanted, so... Want to believe both King Kai and a Vegeta really terrified as well. They did fear Beerus and Cannon during his first arrival. <laughs> that was funny. Goku still would be excited as ever would still um well challenge Beerus to a fight and he would of course ask about Super the Super Saiyan God, which he wouldn't be able to give an answer about since really they don't know nothing about the Super Saiyan God. It's not real and needless to say, um, he cycles through Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, then Super Saiyan 3, but no really need to show that, and does, um, Battle Beerus, and loses. <laughs> he does give him more better challenge than in canon, but still loses. Needless to say, there's no point in bringing up the other Z fighters since they would lose. I only brought up Goku here because, um, just, I don't know you know. Like, <laughs> anyways, continue on to, um, Boma's birthday party, which would be very sad, as it will really only consist of goats and in chunks. Probably future Mai, but, um, I don't feel like going into shippings, and I never will. <laughs> Continuing on. Of course, later, Beerus and Whis do arrive, and would, um, uh, search... And there would really be no big buffet, so they cut to chase Amelia about the Super Saiyan God. Of course, it goes in trunks like... I'm sorry, like every Z fighter there would not know anything about the Super Saiyan God. Eventually, a fight does break out, which leads to the trunks stepping up the first to actually fight Beerus. To say he powers up to ultimate and gives Beerus more of a challenge than... Then Goku did, but um, still ends up losing, really with pretty much ease. Goten tries his hand and um, still loses, nothing really to bring up there. And the worst part of what I wanted to do with this one, if, uh, listen here, I know, but I just needed something to keep the story going, otherwise Beerus just blows up everyone else. Boma brings up the Dragon Balls. But they need to find their way in this thing that they don't know the way to Namek. We would say this would be no problem, and we continue on with the story. Hate this moment. As Goten and Trunks, of course, tax alone as they head to, well, New Namek. Of course, as they arrive on Namek, they'll eventually get the attention of Elder Mori and Beerus will, well, cut to the taste asking for them. Um, they're Dragon Balls. <laughs> or the things. Of course, they easily gather the things and summon the dragon. <laughs> I mean, Peronga. And Beerus getting the first wish would ask about the Super Saiyan God. Of course, Peronga still gets the same, well, gives the same answer as Sharon did in canon, and we continue on. Trunks then asked Peronga to, well, revive everyone who was killed by the androids, obviously, as there was really said Peronga had no time limit and would easily, well, do this. Awarding them two Saiyans, two extra Saiyans, and Vegeta and Gohan, so future Gohan. Asked to get Goku, Beerus would, well, um, Beerus would tell Whis to revive him, so that adds about Five, if I'm correct, I don't know. I haven't been in math class for a week. His trunks with Kai Kai to Earth get in Vegeta and trunks holding back. Well, probably tears. But I don't get to sentimental moments like these. So continue. As the two will understand the situation as soon as they see um, Peronga and um, Beerus. 
Funny enough, these two did see Pronga and Cannon. <laughs> but they don't really have no other. They only have five hands and need more. More of a deal will pipe up and would ask for Pronga to bring his brother Tarbo. Tarbo. I think that's it. Tarbo here. That's how you pronounce his name. And Tarbo will, of course, be teleported to Namek and would, of course, be rightfully confused at what's going on. As Peronga would disappear and all the things would scatter. <laughs> and he would of course be caught up on the situation. Only really asking for a way back to his well um wife. <laughs> Which of whatever plan he was on. For the sake of this whatever. Let's just get Super Saiyan God Ridgel to go 10. As of course everyone will gather around. And someone will have to um. Well hold future Gohan's shoulders. Since um his hand's gone. <laughs> That then, I guess, so hopefully that doesn't come in handy. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. No, I won't. He's really, because Trunks would need a hand. Okay, I'll stop. Future, basically giving it to Golden as he becomes the Super Saiyan guy. And, of course, he does eventually start his battle with Beerus and would give him a much better fight than Super Saiyan guy, Goku, did in canon. And the fight would entertain Beerus. Eventually, the Super Saiyan God transformation would wear off or really get absorbed into, well, um, go to however they explain it. I remember, I just can't word it. And he would, instead of turning Super Saiyan, most likely go Ultimate and would continue his battle with Beerus. Still ended up losing, still end up losing like in canon. Probably will end up being shirtless <laughs> from the Supernova. Of course, Beerus is entertained and does lead the fight. I don't have any image for this last bit. And, of course, everyone returns and they all get to celebrate Boma's birthday, making the whole place much bigger than it started at the beginning of this what if. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time.